My son asked me, what does deja vu mean? I said to him, I have a feeling you've asked me this before. <laughs> Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. I've come across this streaming app and it's packed full of content and it's completely free. So let's take a quick look now. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if I jump over to my Fire Stick 4K mics, I'm not sure if this is only available for Amazon devices, but as you can see, the app is called Movie Arc. I will show you how to get it in a moment. So if I open it up, let me know in the comment section down below, where are you located, what device are you using, and is this app available for you? And quickly, if anybody from YouTube is watching this, it is a free official streaming app. It's a shame that we have to mention this, but YouTube don't seem to like this content at the moment, so I just have to mention that. Now, at the moment, we've got a bit of content, but I'm going to show you something in a moment. It gives you loads. But as we can see, it's pretty basic when we open it up. It's just loading up the thumbnails now, and there's a lot of content inside here. There really is. You've got movies, documentaries, you've got live TV, you've got series... What I've found with the new section, that's more just trailers and things. But just give me one moment to make a quick change. So if I click on Home, I'm going to go to my applications and I'm going to start up a VPN. So I'm using IP Vanish. I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. And all I've done is connected to a USA server. So once I go back home, in fact, first of all, I'm going to force stop the app because then it'll start up as fresh. So Movie Arc, I'm going to force stop it. And now when I open it up again, give it a moment, you can see now it's added a few more options on the top. We've also got like categories and that. But what I have noticed with the content when I'm connected to a USA server is there's a lot more and there's a lot more big name stuff in there as well. We can go down. You've got some stuff on the top here. And then we can keep going down and there's just loads and loads of content, honestly. We've got some Nicolas Cage. We've got Morgan Freeman. What I have noticed as well is the... There's what? <laughs> what I have noticed as well, there's a lot of like space stuff on here. UFOs and all that kind of thing. And a lot of horror as well. Like if I scroll up to the top, like you can scroll down on that for ages. You've got Midnight Scream section here. I can remember the first time I watched that Conjuring and I had to wake the wife up to go for a piss with me. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there as well. Got TV shows. We've even got Shameless in here. Now, this is a UK-based TV show and it's, it's awesome, to be fair. It's a good laugh. And like I say, you can just browse through all of these. Beyond Belief, Facts or Fiction, absolutely brilliant. I've been watching those again lately. I started watching them when I was a kid and I do I think them in. <laughs> The like I said, we've got categories here, so, well, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I'm going to go on Wars. You've got a lot of older content inside this app as well, which a lot of people might like. Documentaries, same sort of thing, go across to Live. And now, when we're on the Live section, we can see, we can keep scrolling down this again. This is the Featured section at the top. Keep going down, you've got Movie Marathon. You can click left onto the categories here as well. So, if you wanted to watch something... It's as simple as, let me find something. If I click on this one here, I've been into my mystery movies at the moment. I don't know if you've seen like Shutter Island or Inception. I like the movies with a lot of twists in and I'm enjoying those at the moment. Comment down below if you've got any recommendations to watch. But as we can see, you can simply click on play, give it a couple of moments, then there you go. I am guessing this app is ad supported so it will have adverts because usually that's how these free streaming apps are able to be free. And something else with this app as well which um, a lot of people might want to do is go to settings at the top. You can see you've got an option for limit ad tracking at the bottom and it's turned off by default but you can turn this on. So something there for a bit of privacy. So then, how do you get the Movie Arc app on your device? It's very simple. It's available in the Amazon App Store itself. If I go to where it says Find or the magnifying glass at the top, click on Search and just start typing in Movie Arc. So there we go. Click on that and you can see the app is there. Click it and install it. Now, of course, there's a lot of different apps out there people use for movies and TV shows, and a lot of them, which I can't really show on this channel. But what I like about this one is a lot of people do like to use official apps rather than unofficial apps 
for the stability of the streams. But what I also like about this app is it's showing you a lot of content you wouldn't usually find in these popular movie and TV show apps. So if you're somebody that likes to browse and watch older content or content that you wouldn't usually come across, then these apps are also useful for that as well. And then like I said, to demonstrate in the US, this is the app I used here. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. Right, so yeah, that's it for this one. I know this video is not going to appeal to everybody, but it's also an option for a lot of people. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!